Hi, I'm Gabby Coletta. Thanks for joining me out here in Indian Creek, Utah, the desert. Today we're moving through a practice that is both playing with grounding and also inspiration and perception. It's inspired by a haiku that goes a little something like this. Since my house burned down, I now have a better view of the rising moon. And I can't help but find a little bit of comedy and joy in that reminder. Because as a human being moving through this life, it's easy to want to classify or define things as good or bad, as an advantage or a disadvantage. And there's so much beyond the realm of our perception. We often don't realize the gifts that come from seemingly um, unwanted events until retrospect. And similar to how we can't really see the wind, but we can see evidence of it in the way that the leaves flow, I invite you to kind of expand your perception in that way, to open up to a little more trust of what happens when we play with looking at things a different way. How can we shift the narrative, the belief, whatever it is that's keeping you locked in one way, and find a little more expansiveness in our thoughts and freedom in our mind. So go ahead and find a comfortable seat, Sukhasana, that's where we'll begin. Place your palms face down if you want a little more grounding today. If you're ready to open up to the mystery, the spontaneity, place your palms face up. Invite your eyes to close or soften your gaze towards the earth. And let your bones settle, your body rest. Invite yourself to fully arrive. And if your mind is fragmenting in the past, the future, see if you can consciously pull these tendrils of your attention back into you. Let's begin by noticing the breath. How it's moving. Without judgment. Just acknowledging where you feel the breath and where you don't. Let your sits bones grow a little heavier, the muscles and the legs soften, and invite a little length in the spine. Heart lifts, open. Shoulders soften down the back, releasing any excess weight or residual heaviness. Let's take three arrival breaths. So inhale through the nose, really fill up belly, ribs, lungs full. Sigh the breath out. Two more breaths like that, summoning your presence with each inhale, expanding breath through the whole body. And empty. One more like that. Inhale, full breath in. Let the spine grow long. And keep the length as you exhale, settling, arriving. Bring both hands to heart center, the sign of balance between ha and ta, sun and moon. Lift your heart into your thumbs and gently bow head towards heart, intellect towards intuition. If there's a personal intention you wish to set, for practice, please do so now, just trusting your body's wisdom and your inner guide. And just take a big breath, breathing life, prana, into this intention. And a full exhale. Slowly release the hands. You can keep the eyes closed or flutter them open, your choice. Switch the cross of the legs. On your next inhale, sweep the arms overhead, big breath in, ribs expanding, heart lifts, palms press, and come to heart center. Twice more, breath and body together. Inhale, expand, arms to the side, up overhead, heart lifts, palms meet, and guide to center. Inviting ujjayi breath, one more time, inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. 
Bring them all the way down to the knees and start large torso circles in one direction. Just getting into the hip creases, circling the ribs. Noticing the parts of the body grounding into earth. Imagining perhaps stirring up any stagnant energy. Inviting a little more freedom in the torso. Next time you're upright, take the circles the other way, shifting the direction. And slow down the breath. As you move, really start to lengthen the breath in and out through the nose. And come back to center. Take your right leg out to the side. So you're in a half straddle, flex the foot, and then rotate your torso towards the right leg. Inhale to lengthen the spine, lift the crown of the head. And as you exhale, start to walk your hands alongside your leg, folding towards your extended leg. Try to keep any rounding out of the upper back. Every inhale, heart lifts, collarbones broad. Every exhale, heart melts towards toes, slight tuck of the chin. See if you can use your breath to deepen into the pose. Keep flexing the toes towards you, really activating the soles of our feet, our connection to earth. Slowly bring the torso to center, reach the arms to the sky, big inhale, and then exhale, twist towards your bent leg, right hand to left knee, left hand anchors behind you. Big inhale to lengthen spine, keep flexing right toes towards you, exhale to twist. One more breath. Keep your right hand on the knee. Inhale, left arm up and over to crescent towards your straight leg. Side stretch here. Roll the heart to the sky. Rotate the top pinky finger down. Take another big inhale to lengthen, fanning open your top ribs. And then come back to center. Unravel and switch sides. Left leg extends, half straddle, right leg tucks in. Flex the toes towards you, turn your torso towards your left leg. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Then exhale, heart melts down, walk your hands alongside the leg. Every inhale, lengthen the spine, stretching space between each vertebrae. And every exhale, folding. And see if you can use sensation in the body and breath to find a little more intimacy with each pose, a little more presence. Slowly bring the torso to center, still in your half straddle, reach the arms to the sky, and twist towards your bent leg. Left hand to right knee, right hand anchors behind you. Inhale, spine long, keep flexing your toes. Exhale to twist, wringing out the spine. Relax the shoulders down the back. Try to keep both sit bones rooted. Take one more breath here. Keep the left hand on the knee. Inhale, right arm up and over to crescent towards your extended leg. Roll your heart to the sky. Lean the top shoulder back. Take another inhale to really fan open the top ribs. And come back to center. Unravel. Bend your extended leg, rock over onto all fours. Table pose is where we'll meet. Really spread the hands, stack shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. You can ground the shins to the earth. Next, inhale, draw the heart forward, lift the chin, the gaze, collarbones broad. Exhale to press the earth away and round. Twice more, cow and cat here. Inhale, heart open. Exhale, press the earth away, pull the shoulder blade tips away from each other. One more like that. Come back to your neutral table. Knit the low ribs in, send the crown of the head forward, right leg glens back. Flex the foot, so straighten your right leg back behind you, draw the navel in, breathe here. Stay here or float your left arm forward, thumb to the sky, just finding a little counterbalance. One more breath. 
release the left hand down, and then swing your right leg out to the side. So the right foot is in line with the left knee. Square your hips to the earth and walk the hands long in front of you. So we're going for a modification of puppy pose. Big inhale to lengthen the spine and exhale to melt the heart towards the earth. Glue the entire sole of your right foot down. Keep dropping the outer right hip. Perhaps sending a conscious stretch into the inseam of the right leg. And then walk the hands back towards you so they're underneath the shoulders. Lift your right leg up, send it long and back, and lower knee to nose, round in. Drop the knee, unfurl the spine, cow pose. Come back to your neutral table, the other side we go. Left leg extends long and back, flex the foot. Draw the navel in and square your hips to the earth. Stay here or option to send your right arm forward, thumb towards the sky. See if you can knit the low ribs in and up. And then release the right hand down. Even weight in both hands as you swing your left leg out to the side, opening up the hip, maybe to hover, maybe to ground. Once you ground it down, drop your outer left hip so your hips are leveling towards the earth. Walk the hands in front of you, take a big inhale. Exhale, melt the heart towards the ground. Even as the heart melts down, can you find a little lift in the armpits? Really press the sole of your left foot into the earth. One more breath. Walk the hands back towards you so they're under the shoulders. Lift your left leg up, send it long and back, squaring hips to earth. Inhale here, exhale knee to nose, round in. Drop the knee, unfurl the spine, heart draws forward, chin and gaze lift. Press the earth away and round. Come back to your neutral table, pause. Tuck the toes and then lift the hips up and back. Adha Mukha Svanasana, first down dog. Take the next three breaths to greet your body in any way you need. Maybe you settle into stillness or you can tick-tock the heels side to side, pedal the feet. Start to really spread the hands, space between the pointer and middle finger face forward. Press into the L of the hand, spin the biceps towards the ears and up to the sky. Melt your heart towards the thighs, towards the back of the mat. A little bend in the knees, especially for this first one. Sink your heels to the earth and take a big inhale. Let the ribs expand in all directions. Big exhale. So even already here, we are in a form of an inversion. So just let your perception settle into this view. Notice the parts of the body still grounded, touching the earth. Take one more breath here. Walk your feet as wide as the mat, point the toes out, the heels in. You might walk hands one handprint closer to the feet if that helps sink your heels down. Sway into the hips side to side like you're wagging a tail, just waking up the backs of the legs, the hip creases, breathe here. One more breath. Parallel the feet. Inhale, shift forward to plank pose. Lower knees, chest, chin to the earth. Slide onto the belly and untuck the toes. Take your arms wide, come to tent on the fingers. Inhale, lift the heart as you slide the shoulders down the back. Exhale, forehead ripples down. Two more, wide arm bhujangasana. Lift the heart, draw the navel in. Exhale, forehead ripples down. Once more, inhale, lift the heart, press the tops of the feet down, and release. Take the hands under the shoulders, press yourself through all fours, all the way into child's pose. Pause here. Take a full breath, let the skin on the back expand, and a full exhale. Know that as we start to build heat, you can always return to child's pose to find your breath, to restore. So just listen to your body. Really spread the hands, reach them long in front of you, rise to table. Tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Shift your gaze to the front of the mat and start to walk your feet to the front. Really noticing the weight of each footprint on the earth. 
once you arrive to the top. Forward fold, drape the torso over to the thighs, head heavy. Your arms can just rest, palms face up in this gesture of receiving opening. You can sway side to side, grab opposite elbows, whatever you need, two more breaths here. One more breath. Release the hands to the earth. Feet are hips width apart, so two fists could fit between the feet. Inhale, half lift, hands to thighs, shins, or top of mat. Exhale to fold, fingers in line with toes. Twice more, inhale, half lift, crown of the head reaches forward, weight in the balls of the feet. Exhale, fold. Once more like that, inhale, half lift, pause here, plant the left hand in front of the face, or maybe a brick, right arm to sky for a twist. Deep bend into the left knee as you straighten the right leg. And then pull the shoulders down the back. Release top arm down, switch sides. Right hand to earth or brick, left arm to sky. Deep bend into the right leg as you straighten the left. Perhaps you really press the sole of the left foot down, noticing if that awakens any sensation in the left leg, outer seam. Release the top arm down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold. Slow roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time until we meet in Tadasana, mountain pose. Pull the shoulders up to the ears and soften them down the back, palms forward. Lift up all 10 toes, really spread the toes and then release them back to the earth. Half sun salutations here. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fold all the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Half lift, long spine, offer your heart. Fold a little deeper in towards yourself, head heavy. Reverse swan dive, press through the feet, sweep the arms out to the side, up overhead, palms meet, hands to heart center. Twice more, inhale, sweep the arms up, grow tall in both directions. Exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips, all the way in half, head heavy. Half lift, long spine, collarbones broad. Exhale, fold a little deeper, fingers in line with toes. Reverse swan dive, press through the feet, sweep the arms out to the side, up overhead, palms meet, hands to heart center. Last half sun salutation here, inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, grow tall, wrap the pinky fingers in, palms press. Exhale, fold, hinging forward. Little bend in the knees as you do. Find your half lift. Pull the shoulders away from ears. Exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive. Reach, gather your presence. Bring palms to meet. Heart center. Take a moment here. Maybe call back your intention. Feel your feet on the earth as the heart lifts up. Separate your feet hips width apart if they aren't already. Sink the hips low, graze the fingertips on the earth, reach the arms up for Utkatasana, fierce pose here. Let the weight sink into the heels, lift the heart a little more, and even can you knit the low ribs in. Soften the shoulders down the back, take one more breath here. Exhale, fold. Find your half lift. Plant the hands, step back into plank. Modified chaturanga, maybe full version, your choice. Lower knees, chest, chin, or halfway down. Inhale to low cobra, or perhaps up dog. Exhale, make your way into down dog. Take a full breath. Complete exhale. Extend your right leg long and back. Open up the hip, stack right hip on top of left. You can bend and extend the leg, find some exploration, but keep squaring your shoulders to the earth. Press into the L of the hands. One more breath here. Then reach your right leg long and back, square off the hips, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, and as lightly as possible, plant the foot between the hands. Lower your back knee down, untuck the back toes. Anjane here, sweep the arms forward and up. And stay for exhale to sink in. You can stay here holding this pose or invite some dynamic movement into it. Bricks are optional. Inhale here, heart lifts. 
And then exhale, fly your arms back straight on your front leg, bow forward in a variation of Ardha Hanumanasana. Pulse through that twice more, or just simply hold your Anjane Asana. We'll all move into our half splits together. You can pulse for two more times. One more here, heart opens, arms sweep up. Exhale, fold inward. And if you held Anjane Asana, we'll all sweep the arms up to reach. Exhale, hands to the earth or bricks. Shift your hips back. This time we hold. Flex the right toes towards you. Drop the outer right hip. Inhale, long spine. And melt the heart down. Two more breaths. One more breath. Lift the torso up and walk your hands over to the right side of the mat, spinning the knife edge of your left foot down. You might place your hands on a brick to bring the earth up to you. We're really aiming to kind of bring some sensation into the outer seam of the right leg, stretching the IT band. So we're really activating sensation in the legs to bring earth element into our practice, the sense of grounding, of stability, of rootedness, so that when we start to bend our perception, when we play, we'll have a sense of stability in our play. Slowly shift your torso to frame the front foot, bend into your front leg, tuck the back toes, lift the knee up, and reach the arms forward and up for your high lunge. High lunge is where we're meeting, Hips square forward, reach the arms up, relax the shoulders down the back. Take a big inhale here. On your exhale, open arm twist to the right and pause. Arms out to a T, relax the right hip down so your hips are still level. Soften the shoulders down the back. Inhale back to center, high lunge. Exhale, open warrior two. Spiral the back heel down, hips and shoulders open to the long edge of the mat. Breathe here, really find this wingspan stretching across the heart, and traction your front knee towards the pinky toe edge. Steady your breath, ujjayi breath here. Flip your front palm up, reverse warrior, reach up and back, but keep the bend in the front leg, maybe a little deeper, keep drawing the right hip crease to the sky. One more inhale here, and exhale to cartwheel the hands down for a revolved lunge. Left hand to the inside of the front foot, right arm to the sky. Always an option to modify by dropping the back knee down. Breathe here. Every exhale, think of bringing out from the navel, the ribs, the heart. Option to stay here, deepening into this twist or find a supported side plank by toe heeling your foot to the center of the mat, spinning onto the knife edge of the back foot. Option to hold this side plank here or find a few hip dips, lowering the hips as you sweep your right arm back. And then lifting the hips to the sky, slight crescent of the body for two more. Completely optional. One more breath. Everybody reach your right arm up. Release the right hand down to the inside of the front foot and pivot to face the long edge of the mat. Turn your left toes out, skandasana towards the left, low side lunge. So bending into the left leg, knee and toes in the same direction. And bend into the right leg. We'll be here for a few breaths, really working into the hips. Be mindful not to lock out your straight knee. Sometimes that can create some aggravation in the knee. So you can keep a little micro bend in the knee. One more breath side to side. And then slowly walk the hands to the front. Keep the hands on the inside of the front leg. Find lizard lunge with the back knee lifted. You can stay up on your hands or lower forearms to the earth or bricks. Your choice. Just here for two more breaths. Keep the collarbones broad. Really activate that back leg. One more breath. Reach the right leg long and back. Three-legged dog. 
and float it through a vinyasa or ground the foot. You can always skip the vinyasa, holding a down dog or taking a child's pose as needed. When you arrive in down dog, take a full breath. Empty the breath out. Journeying to the other side we go, left leg rises to the sky, three-legged dog. Open up the hip, you can bend and extend the leg. Maybe do some circles. Keep spreading the hands. Spin the biceps towards the ears to the sky as you melt the heart towards the back of the mat. And then reach your left leg long and back. Square off the hips. Inhale here. Exhale, knee to nose. And as lightly as possible, land the foot between the hands. Drop your back knee to the earth. Untuck the back toes. Sweep the arms forward and up for Anjane Asana. Stay for your exhale to sink in as you traction the front foot towards the back knee. You're welcome to stay here for three breaths. Or if you want to move into that dynamic motion, inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, fly the arms back, straight in the front leg. Ardha Hanumanasana, half splits. Two more pulses. Inhale, reach the arms up, lift the heart. Exhale, straight in front leg, fly arms back. Very mindful as you transition between these poses. Reach the arms up, lift the heart, shoulder soft. Exhale, fly the arms back. Together we'll all still find our Anjane Asana heart lifts. And everybody release hands down either to the earth, maybe bricks, half split, send your hips back, straight and left leg. Inhale to lift the heart, pelvis pours forward. Exhale, melt your heart towards your toes, find a slight tuck of the chin. Relax the shoulders. See if you can use your breath to find a little more depth. And can you invite an element of curiosity, of just feeling into sensation? Option to stay here, really working into the hamstring, or if you want that IT band stretch, and spiral the knife edge of your left foot down as you walk your hands over to the left side of the mat. You can always use a brick to bring the earth up to you. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Breathe here. See if you can stay present with sensation, whether it's discomfort or joy. Just being with it without attachment. And then turn your torso towards the front of the mat. Bend into your front leg, tuck the back toes, lift the knee up, high lunge. Sweep your arms forward and up and pause. Take a moment, maybe widen your stance like you're on railroad tracks if that gives you more stability, and square your hips forward. Inhale to reach the arms to the sky. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Arms out to a T, shoulders melt down the back. Can you keep spiraling the outer left hip down? Big breath here. Stay for your exhale. Inhale back to center. Open up warrior two. Spiral the back heel down, hips and shoulders open to the long edge of the mat. As you settle in, see if you can really press the four corners of each foot down. Reach across the chest, fingertip to fingertip, soft gaze over the left fingers. Flip your front palm up, reverse warrior, reach up and back. Stay for your exhales, you sink a little lower. Let your inhale really fan open the top ribs for a side bend. Exhale to cartwheel the hands down, revolve lunge, right hand to the inside of the front foot. Left arm sweeps up, pull the shoulders down the back. Again, modify for your practice. If you want to drop the back knee down, please do. Benefits in all variations. Option to stay here, deepening into this twist every exhale, or spin onto the knife edge of your back foot as you toe heel your left foot to the center of the mat, point the toes to the long edge. Supported side plank we hold, or pulse for three, lowering the hips down. Lift the hips up for two. And one. Reach the top arm up and to the earth. Pivot to face the long edge of the mat, skandasana, side to side. 
Go side lunge, side to side here. Take one more breath each side, just swimming it out in the hips. Then walk the hands to the front of your mat, inside of your left foot. Lizard lunge, all 10 toes face forward. Stay up on the hands or lower to forearms or bricks, your choice, but keep the opening across the heart. Breathe here for three, for two, and one. Send your top leg long and back, three-legged dog. Load it through vinyasa or skip it. We'll all meet in a child's pose. Knees wide, big toes touch, arms long in front of you. Turn your palms up if you wish, just to reconnect to your offering, your intention, letting the upper outer arms roll away from each other. Let your head be heavy. Take another big breath. Sit bones leaning towards the heels. When you're ready, slowly make your way into down dog where we'll meet. Inhale to bend the knees deeply, gaze at the front of the mat. Bottom of the exhale, float or step to the top, your choice. Find your half lift long spine. Exhale to fold. Slowly roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time, really mindfully. As you arrive, roll the shoulders down the back, lift the heart, palms face forward. We're gonna move into a little balancing series. If you have tight hamstrings, you could use your strap or I'll also offer modifications, all right? So when you're ready, feet hips width apart, sink the hips low, reach the arms up, Utkatasana. Breathe here, sink a little lower, lift the heart. Start to really ground into your left foot. Left leg grounding down on your next inhale. Stand up straight, carrying your right knee into chest. Pause here. Flex your right toes. Cross the right ankle above the left knee and sink it into figure four ch chair. Hands to heart center. As you settle into your figure four chair, See if you can keep the hips level. If the left hip is popping out to the side, really activate that glute. Sink a little lower. Keep lifting the heart. Breathe here. Here's where we have variations. We'll all bring our left hand to the left hip. Peace fingers can either come to the big toe. If your hamstrings feel tight, bring your hand to the inner right knee. On your next breath, we're going to stand up and take the right leg out to the side. It can be straight, it can be bent, it can be 90 degrees. Find your variation, whichever form you're in. See if you can drop the outer right hip and scoop it down and forward. Keep your hips level and lift your heart up. Relax the shoulders down the back. Breathe here. One more breath. We're gonna to return to figure four chair, slowly guiding right ankle above, left knee, hands to heart center. Breathe here, hands to heart. All right, one more variation here. Start to lift the heart, lift the right knee into the chest again, and cross the right leg as high as possible into eagle legs. So you can put the toe pads on the earth for support, you can wrap once or twice, but keep squaring your hips forward. Lean your weight back, hands to heart. Breathe here. Lift the heart up. One more breath. Slowly unravel the right leg, right knee into chest. Pause, inhale. Exhale, pour your heart forward. Kick your right leg back so slowly like you're moving through honey. Option to stay in warrior three for an extra breath. But where we're going to meet is our high lunge land the toes at the back of the mat reach the arms up 
pause here. Relax the shoulders, knit the low ribs in, breathe. Inhale to reach the arms up. As you exhale, fly the arms back and straighten your front leg without locking the knee out. We'll pulse through that twice more. Inhale, high lunge, lift the heart, lengthen your tailbone down. Exhale, fly the arms back, straighten front leg as you scissor the inner thighs together. Once more, heart lifts, arms up. Exhale, fly it back. Reach the arms to the sky. Open warrior two. Breathe here. Relax the shoulders, straighten the front leg. You might shorten your stance, reach the left arm forward, trikonasana, left hand comes to the brick, the earth, maybe the shin, as long as it's not pressing weight down. Lean your right shoulder back. One more breath. On your next inhale, find reverse warrior, reach up and back. And then exhale, cartwheel the hands down to the inside of the front foot, lizard lunge. Back heel spins up, toe heel, left foot to the side. So we have a few options here. This time you're welcome to lower the back knee down, untuck the toes, kind of settle in. You can also find a twist, pointing the left toes towards 10 o'clock, pressing left hand to thigh, lifting heart. Take a few breaths where you're choosing to be. One more breath. And we're all going to transition together, planting both hands onto the earth. Tuck your back toes, lift the knee up, then roll onto the knife edge of your back foot and your right hand as you toe heel your left foot to the center of the mat for supported side plank. Here's where we have Yogi's Choice. You can stay right where you are. You can take the top leg into tree pose or a 90 degree bend. You can take left piece fingers to big toe and send the leg high to the sky for three, Two, one, we're all gonna lift our left leg up to any variation we can and slowly guide as slow as we can the left foot to the top of the mat, land it, and then roll onto the inside of your back foot into triangle pose. Pause in your triangle pose. If you need to come out and readjust, please do. So we're here playing with the same shape, but two different poses. When you're ready, rise up. Rotate the front toes in, both heels in, sink into your goddess pose, hands to heart. Take a moment, four corners of the feet ground, heart lifts. Either stay in steadiness and stillness or plant the hands onto the thighs, lift the heart, and then drop right shoulder, look over left for a twist. And we'll take it side to side. Come back to center. Straighten the legs, parallel the feet, arms out to a T. Inhale, exhale to fold, wide-legged stance. Hands under the shoulders, lift the heart. And when you're ready, take it into your depth of a fold. Hands in line with feet, crown of head descends down. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. We will be here for about five to seven breaths. If you have an inversion in your practice and you'd like to take tripod headstand, it's here for you. No obligation. If you know you want more grounding, stay in the fold. Ribs pressing in towards thighs on every exhale.
have three more breaths wherever you're choosing to be. One more breath. If you're inverted, go ahead and come on down. Take another breath in your wide-legged fold. Everybody inhale, half lift. Just walk your hands to the front of the mat. Step your front foot back and rinse through a vinyasa. We'll meet in a child's pose or a down dog before our final side of standing. Take any transition you need. When you're ready, down dog. Inhale to bend the knees deeply, gaze at the front of the mat, bottom of the exhale, step or float to the top, your choice. Half lift and fold. Slowly roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Lift the heart, soften the shoulders down the back, pause here. Take a moment before we journey into our final side of standing. Notice the feet on the earth. The mind has started to wander or anticipate. Can you rein it back in with your breath, your presence? And just notice all the ways that we've played with the same shape, but in different orientation. Just inviting the asana practice to be a practice of perception and play. Separate the feet hips width apart if they're not there already. Sink the hips low, graze the fingertips on the earth to the sky, utkatasana. Only here for a few moments, so really sink the weight in the heels, lift the heart, relax the shoulders, keep grounding into your right knee. And when you're ready, inhale, stand up tall, carrying left leg into chest, left knee into chest. Flex the left toes towards you, cross left ankle over right knee, and sink into figure four chair. Steady your gaze, your drishti on one spot for stability, closer to the earth for more earth element, maybe to the sky if you want to play with movement. Keep the heart lifted as the pelvis tilts forward. You can stay here, just really savoring this hip opener. Or when you're ready, right hand to right hip, left piece fingers to either big toe or hand to knee. Inhale, stand up and take the leg out to the side, opening up the hip. Relax the shoulders down the back, lift the heart. Again, modify as you need. Breathing here, either variation you're in, can you scoop the left hip down and forward? Lift the chest, the heart, knit the low ribs in. One more breath, wherever you're choosing to be. And release left ankle just above right knee, figure four, hands to heart. Steady here. Inhale, stand up on your right leg, left knee into chest, inhale. Cross the left, ankle, left leg as high as possible. The higher you cross, the easier the double bind might be. Again, your choice though, use the toe pads on the earth as desired. Use what will give you steadiness as you play. Breathe for three, for two, and one. Slowly unravel, left knee into chest. Inhale, exhale, pour your heart forward, kick your left leg back, move slowly, mindfully. Perhaps a breath in warrior three, but when you're ready, land the toes at the back of the mat. Reach the arms to the sky. Squeeze the inner thighs together, lift the heart. Inhale here. Exhale, fly the arms back straight in the front leg, micro bend in the knee. Twice more we pulse, inhale, lift the heart, the arms. Exhale, fly it back, scissor inner thighs together. Once more. And fly it back. Reach the arms forward and up, inhale. Exhale, open up warrior two. Relax the shoulders. Straighten your front leg, maybe toe heel the back foot in. Breathe here, it'll as you lengthen right side body. Exhale, right hand to the earth, maybe a brick, a shin, just making sure that we're not pressing the hand into the foot, into the leg. 
keeping a little bend in our right knees. Find this big wingspan and relax the shoulders down the back. Really ground into the ball mound of your right foot and scoop your right hip down and towards the long edge. One more breath. When you're ready, reverse warrior, reach it up and back, inhale. Exhale, cartwheel the hands to the inside of the front foot, pivot the back heel up. Lizard lunge, toe heel your right foot to the side, stay up or drop the back knee down. Your choice to savor for about three breaths here. You can stay upright. If you want that twist, right toes towards 10 o'clock. And press left hand or right hand into the thigh. So we'll all move through this mindful transition together. Both hands come to the inside of the front foot, tuck the back toes and lift the back knee up. Pivot onto the, the outer knife edge of your back foot as you toe heel your right foot to the center of the mat for your side plank. So you can stay exactly here, just really enjoying this. You can take this into a tree variation, a 90 degree bend or peace fingers to big toe lifting, right leg up. One more breath. Really mindful transition, drawing the right foot to the center of the top mat and spin in the inner knife edge of the back foot down. You might need to adjust. Take it into Trikonasana triangle. So even if you're in a bent leg variation, you can hold your leg, really bring it forward and then rotate the inside down. You can take it into extended side angle or straighten. So really listening to your own body, what it needs to get into Trikonasana, using mindful transitions. When you're ready, bend into the front leg, rise up, rotate the front toes in, and then both heels in, toes out, goddess pose. This time, take the hands behind the back, clasping the hands and letting clasp hands fall to the right rib cage, dropping right ear to right shoulder. A little breath into the left side of the neck. Switch sides. Come to center. Straighten the legs, parallel the feet. Reach the arms out, inhale, exhale to fold. Pause here. We're gonna play with transition here. I'll give two options. We're moving into Gomukhasana cow face pose. So toe heel your feet in slightly so the stance is like outer hips width apart. Rise on to the tippy toes and walk your hands towards the right keeping your feet where they are. Keep walking your hands all the way to the opposite long edge of the mat. So your knees are stacked. You're using your hands for support to lower yourself down into Gomukhasana cow face pose. Now, if this is a little too intense on the hips, take your bottom leg forward into half Gomukhasana. If this is still too intense, you can take this into Baddha Konasana or pigeon pose. So find the hip opener that will work for you. Once we arrive here, if you're in Gomukhasana, then make sure your bottom heel is in line with your top heel. It'll just help deepen the hip opener. So we're working with that outer seam of the legs, the IT band, variations of open and closed hip poses. Keeping us grounded even as we play with perspective. We're going to be in your hip opener of choice for seven breaths. Here's where we practice our staying power, our presence. So even in moments of discomfort, if it does arise, seeing if you can stay with it, trusting it's not permanent. 
You're welcome to stay here or to deepen into your hip opener, either folding forward. Or if you want one last perspective play for my inversion yogis, you can continue to fold forward. You're going to use your legs as a little spring pad to lift your head up, place it on the earth, and you can take it into a tripod headstand with Gomukhasana legs. Or, I mean, eagle legs, excuse me. <laughs> so, come back down the same way using your shins and your feet as a little landing pad. And wiggle yourself forward. These are options. Wherever you are, take three more breaths. Last two. Final one. So we're going to transition to the other side. If you're in a variation of Gomukhasana and you know you just want to get right into the other side, go ahead and just switch legs. If you want to move through some transition play, you're going to take your hands on either side of that top leg, keep your feet where you are, and just walk your hands to the long edge opposite of you, to the other side of the mat, all the way around. Use your hands to support you coming down and shift the hips as needed. We want both sit bones grounded, knees stacked in one line. And if possible, bottom foot wiggles forward to deepen into the hip opener. Again, you can also straighten the front leg, flexing the toes. So we'll be here for seven breaths. Perhaps you close the eyes. And just noticing how even our sense, our other senses come alive when we close off one sense. Taking in sound, sensation, touch, perhaps even taste. You can stay in your hip opener or deepen folding inward. You can stay or take your final inversion if you're craving one, tripod headstand with eagle legs. Two more breaths. Slowly come out of whatever you were just in. Put your hands on the earth and unravel yourself to face the front of the mat. Step your front foot back and rinse through a final vinyasa. Child's pose is where we meet. As you settle into child's pose, take a big breath. Let the skin on the back stretch and feel the support of the earth beneath you. Slowly roll your torso up. Offset your hips an inch to the side and send the legs long in front of you, moving to the center of your mat. Use the support of your core to lower yourself down onto your back. Take one hand to heart, one hand to belly, breathing here. You can keep your legs long or soles of the feet touch, butterfly the knees out. And 
And just take a moment to notice the whole journey of the body, the breath, the mind through practice. When you're ready, you'll slowly guide the knees into the chest, squeezing them in. Then cross right leg over left once, maybe twice, arms out to a T. Offset your hips an inch to the right and drop the knees to the left for a final twist of practice. Slowly come to center. Switch the cross of the legs. Scooch the hips an inch to the left, drop the knees to the right. Take a big rinse water breath. And big exhale. And slowly come back to center. Unravel the legs. Hug both knees in. If there's any last thing you need in your practice, honor that. Otherwise, when you're ready, I invite you into your desired length of Shavasana. Legs long, arms in a low V, palms face up. And just be mindful to guide yourself out when you're ready. Biggest inhale yet. And let it go. Shavasana.